The last uh, topic for chapter 21 is looking at the energy associated with nuclear reactions. So for this practice problem, we're going to calculate the binding energy of chlorine 37. So we have 3717Cl is our isotope. So if we look at all of our particles that make up this atom, we have 17 protons. So this, there's nothing up here, so this is a neutral. So there's nothing here, so this chlorine is neutral. So that means we have 17 electrons. So 17 electrons. Um, so if we look at our 37, this 37 is the number of protons and neutrons. So for our neutrons, we have 37 minus 17 equals 20 neutrons. So when we calculate the nuclear binding energy, we're going to take the mass of all of these particles individually and subtract that or subtract the mass of this atom from that. So the difference in mass is what's converted to energy to bind the nucleus together. So in the problem, it gave us the mass of this atom is 36.965903 atomic mass units. So let's calculate the mass associated with 17 protons, 17 electrons, and 20 neutrons. So we're going to take this and multiply it by the mass of a proton, 1.00728, which gives us 17.12376. And we'll do that with um, the electrons. So that's 0 0.000 548. So this gives us a mass of 0 0.009316 uh, units of atomic mass units. And now for our 20 neutrons, we're going to multiply that by 1.00866 atomic mass units to get a mass of 20.1732. So if all that an atom was was the mass of this, this, and this, and nothing uh, lost in the process. If we sum this, this, and this, we should get the mass of the atom. So when we add this together, we get 37.306276 AMU. Okay, so this again is the mass of the individual particles. If we look, it's a bit more than what we have here. So the difference in mass between these is what is converted to energy to bind the nucleus of the atom together. So our delta M is equal to 37.306276 subtract 36.965903, which gives us 0 0.340. 37 AMU. So that is our mass deficit, and that is what is turned into energy to bind the nucleus together. Okay, so to use E equals MC squared to get energy out of that, or joules, this uh, atomic mass unit needs to be in kilograms. So 0 0.34037 atomic mass units. Okay, multiplied by 1.66 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms per 1 AMU. The mass deficit is 5.65 times 10 to the minus 28 kilograms. Okay, so now to complete our, prob uh, our um, problem here, E equals delta M c squared. So we have 5.65 times 10 to the minus 28 kilograms multiplied by c squared, which is 3.0 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. And that is squared. So now our units are kilograms meters squared per second squared, which gives us joules. So if we multiply through we get 5.05 .05 times 10 to the minus 11 joules. So this is the nuclear binding energy of our chlorine 37.
So again, this is the difference in mass of our particles. Um, if we add them all up separately, the difference in mass between these two things here is what is converted into energy. So we use E equals mc squared, where our mass is the difference in mass between all the particles individually and what they are bound together. Convert that to kilograms so that when we put it in equals mc squared, we can get our kilograms meter squared per second squared to get our energy in joules. So this is how much energy is required to bind 17 protons together with 20 neutrons in the nucleus of the atom.